<laughs> hello, sweetie. Hello, hello, my friends. Let's have a last look at this desk. Um, I haven't been showing you too much of my desk because I don't think it's that pleasing to eye. It's a bit messy. It's a little bit overgrown, crowded quite a lot, but it's my happy place. This is where I record. This is where I craft. This is where I talk to you. This is my happy place. Mm, we decided that it's time for change and we need to make uh, some changes. We need to improve the space. I need a bit more space. I really don't need so many of those supplies here. I really don't. I'm kind of making things up high here, but this thing doesn't work. It's like wobbly and all. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and I really think we need to change a few things around. This desk is from last night. Look how messy Hi. that is. That's the honest truth. Hi. Hi. Um, it's from last night. We're finished. <laughs> Hi. Like to paint. Would you like to paint? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's paint. Um, I have uh, finished last night's uh, live show for members and we created those gorgeous, this gorgeous card and art journal page. I love it. I couldn't be more proud of it. And I just want you to see the last look of that because we will be changing, adding furniture, hopefully improving the quality of my um, setup for recording as well. The microphone. <laughs> yes, it's your painting and it's your um your magnets as well. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> I love you too. She just came to hug mama. So yes, guys, we're going to be building the furniture right now. Well, not me, Lucas, really. We have some plans. We have some ideas. Hopefully, I'm going to update you with everything and you will see how this space will change. Yes. So let's let's do it. Let's build it up. you've come so far no matter where you find yourself you're always where you are go anywhere you go do anything you do i'll be with you take a moment take an hour take another year start again or keep going i'll always be right here feel anything you feel Hear anything you hear, you'll never disappear. When it feels like you're walking back, when you're out of luck and off the path, broken and far from home, just remember that you're not alone. Trying not to dig too deep, afraid of what you'll find Give yourself the grace you show me all the time Cause when you love yourself, you can give that love to someone else Morning's coming Here is my desk, when it's kind of clean and ready to record, ready to do the live shows or record my videos. Here is how I do it. This is where I do it. It's okay. It's not too bad, but I think mm, too much space is taken from the actual desk. Um, I Thankfully, the desk is huge in general, but I really feel I need more space. And, you know, all of this, all of this should be sorted and kind of put in a better order. Am I able to do it with the shelving that we <laughs> purchased? I don't know. We're going to test it now. Uh, so I need to take off everything. Uh, change this one probably to the other side. Maybe to, you know, front to back. Because this one is kind of dirty. It's hard to wash it off. So hopefully I'll swap, swap that. And yeah, we can put it on. 
I need to ask Lucas because it's quite heavy. Uh, I just need to make space on the floor first <laughs> to take down all of this. <laughs> Hello, 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 my beautiful friends. A voiceover for this part because it's a pretty long part, maybe even boring for some. But on the other hand, it's a great opportunity for me to explain everything, to chit chat to you. I'm recording this voiceover on the 15th of May, which is today, like exact now. Um, and you're watching the video from a good few months back, August, September, when everything have started. The whole cleaning process started from this desk as you can tell my part at the window it's not cleaned here on the video although uh, the part of that uh, cleaning process is already on the youtube channel but because the desk was the most difficult to sort difficult to actually record and actually chit chat about it because it was in a constant use I just left it at the end so now it's time to really focus on our desk show it to you chat to you about it and all. Emily, a huge, huge, huge helper. I'm super glad that she's there. And to start with, we just have to clean the whole desk. You can see how many things I have accumulated on this desk. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Way too many things, way too many things. And I have to get rid of that, put all of this down on the floor to be able to clean the actual desk. My desk is very, very big, I have to say. It's not a regular desk um, that people use for offices. It's probably twice as big as the regular desk. It's more like for people who are kind of like maybe doing some um, graphics, some drawing big like um, for architect or someone like that. It's a big, big, big desk and it's also very, very high. I remember when we chose it seven, six, seven years ago uh, when we moved into this house, it was actually Lucas's idea and he was so right because not only I need a big desk, not a regular typical small desk, but also a tall one because every time I craft, I actually stand 99.9, I would actually stand. So as we're cleaning everything from the desk, we look how big is the desk. We're making a room so we can actually put the shelving on it. You will see it for yourself. The idea for this makeover was to make it somehow upwards because everything is down on the desk taking a lot of space which I didn't like and we really wanted to make sure I wanted to make sure that we go upwards with the pieces with the things how can I do it I was thinking about the actual bookshelf to maybe um, instead of horizontal vertical go with horizontal with the bookshelf something like that so idea was there the idea was there but I didn't I couldn't articu articulate it exactly what I need and um, but when we got to Ikea we saw that piece actually Lucas saw it first and you will see it for yourself in a minute but before I'm gonna are you gonna see it we're cleaning a very interesting part of the desk it's this actually cover for my desk it's a cover that I got in Lidl, but you can get it anywhere else in IKEA as well. But this one is a big one cover for my desk, but it's not for desk. It's under office chair plastic. You put that under the chair so it's easier for you to go on the chair that goes wheel, not wheelchair, chair with wheels, basically, you know, like an office chair. So basically you can move it around if you have a carpet. So exactly, you're putting something like that, but I'm using it on my desk. Fantastic. I had two pieces when they came to Lidl seven years ago, I purchased two right away and time for change now. I like white things. It helps me a lot uh, to see it better, my projects to take photos and stuff like that. And now you will be able to see the actual piece. Dum -da -da -dum, dum -da -da -dum. Here it is. I absolutely love it. But honestly, when I saw it first in Ikea, I thought, no, it's too small, Lucas. It's like, I'm not going to fit much in here. The shelving is very strange size. It's kind of like I said, no, it's like, it's for normal people, not for crafters. It's like a lovely addition on the desk, but not for me. And you know what? Before I forget as well, I'm going to try to find all the IKEA desk and also the top part for you. And I'm going to put either links or the names with the numbers for IKEA so you can check it for yourself. Um, the desk actually we purchased seven years ago and it was still available now recently. The top part, 
I cannot remember. Didn't check it before the voiceover. But hopefully, yes, you can change. As you can see, you can change where you wish your shelving to be. Super, super awesome. Um, and the top part, little, little piece that I just put up there, it's not going to be there because I moved it on the side, which you could see in the previous makeover videos. Um, this is not a final look of that desk. This is more like, let's see what we can do. Let's see how I can arrange it. All the little containers, as you can see, all of them, all of these containers are actually um, purchased a kind of hopefully they will work hopefully they're gonna match hopefully they're gonna fit and actually they did but i didn't measure anything i was really purchasing them because it's a quarantine time it's a pandemic time the shops were closed i was once in one of the shops september i just grabbed what i found what was there available and i hoped for the best that is gonna fitting and it fits perfectly really really perfectly surprise surprise mm, plastic containers do you know what I really hope you will find the courage to actually change your scrap rooms, to actually change your studios, kitchen, tables, maybe your bedrooms, wherever you are. I hope you find courage to actually change and make better things for yourself. I've learned through this process that the studio, it's not like a, it's not a room that you just there just to be, that it's like a I don't know, like a warehouse. I've learned through this process that I really wish my place to be pretty. I really wish this to be functional. I really wish to be in the place that I enjoy being. And you know what I was thinking? Why do we all have beautiful flowers in the house, pictures on the walls? Why do we decorate the house? Why do we make it pretty by lovely cups and mugs to drink from? Why can't we do the same with the studios? Why? And you know what? I think it's this 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 thing that people ask us, oh, why do you buy so many art supplies? Well, because I love it, because I enjoy it, because it makes me happy, because I need it, because I can, because million other reasons why we do it. We accumulate, we hoard it and all, but this is just what we crafters do. And you know what? It's okay. Million zillion pens and pencils that we cannot part with. That's okay. Just maybe next time. But really try to make your space around you as workable for you, as pleasant for eyes, as good as you can make it. It makes a difference, guys. It really does. I have been using this desk for the past good few months. I cannot remember times before it. I don't remember how I managed without this top part of my desk, actually. I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying it's going to work for everyone. Not at all, but it does work for me. It really does do the job. It looks pretty. It's functional. I can just, it just, I just love it. I love it to bits and pieces. I love it so very much. Now, sorting all these pens, it's a job. We obviously, we're checking which is good, which is not what we need. Another brush and another brush and another. Yes, I think it's time and I grew up to this decision to part with things, to say, I don't need this in front of me. It can be on the back. And I really wish to have on the desk things that I enjoy, like use, love, just basically things that makes me happy so I really the whole process of changing this room it's so therapeutic it's so needed and it's great and I also learned do you know what I know times are tough and I completely understand it but I think it's good to try to save a little bit for some tiny furnitures for some containers for things that will actually make your life easier that will actually make everything look, look prettier why why can't we just be in the room and place that it's it's pretty it makes us happy we there so many hours and also if it's gonna help you to tidy up do it i knew it that if i'm not gonna purchase some sort of different containers if i'm not gonna make a decision if i'm not gonna make a plan if i'm not gonna uh, make a make basically make a decision about it if I'm not gonna say okay I'm doing it nothing will change I'm gonna be still hoarding million of supplies I'm gonna still having tons of boxes that I don't even open I'm gonna have things hidden that I'm not gonna even be sure where it is anymore so it's time for change and if it's gonna help you by purchasing some containers by changing a little furniture that's okay. Do you know what? It's okay to give away some furniture to maybe neighbors, family. Maybe there are people who need it. 
and get something that really works for you. Honestly, I think it's so important. And you know what? Honestly, I I waited far too long because this could be done long time ago. But it is what it is. I'm glad that it's taken so much time maybe that I had a chance to, you know, grow up and change my mind and, you know, really know what I need. This particular desk, you're going to see it again and again in a different light because um, this is not the final look. This is not the final setup. This is just the first time kind of this is how it is uh, so I really didn't know how to set up everything and what should I do and you know it was like a trial on oh, Emily goes to bed good night good night <laughs> it was just a trial it have changed over the months I have been using this the past nearly a year now and I loved it so very much and it changed so much as well because it was in a use I have been adding changing you know but one thing I tell you is that fantastic idea because I set up new lamps new video recording setup with that particular furniture piece of furniture so I'm gonna share that with you in the next videos obviously cannot be everything together as I said recording this whole studio desk studio change was mm, quite difficult because it was in a use all the time it was a lot of time a lot of times dirty a lot of times messy I have been recording so obviously things are on the desk and I have been using that desk when I was tidying up the other parts of the room but we are gonna go slowly slowly i encourage you to try guys to change your rooms bit by bit shelf by shelf piece by piece save a little money get a nicer containers for your pens maybe make some labels if it's gonna help you make it pretty get yourself some lovely flowers why not I really feel that we are at the point where we don't have to explain ourselves to others to understand why we do it, what we do it. Why cannot we have a pretty rooms? And in the previous videos, which I'm going to link all of the uh, room changes, uh, studio changes in the description box as well. There's a whole playlist for the studio. The whole, the whole process have taught me that, yes, I don't have to explain anything to anyone. I can enjoy what I have. I deserve it. I work hard for it. I really love being in that place and I really wish to enjoy it. And I don't have to explain anyone. Why? 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 why did I purchase this or why I am deciding about investing in the studio I don't think people understand that hobby investing in this hobby is the same as investing in buying a fishing rod more expensive or tennis rocket that it's working far better for some you know it's the same thing so I encourage you to understand that be proud of your art space make it beautiful make it workable make it gorgeous make it the way that it's gonna be making you happy and smile. And this is what I'm doing right now. As you can see, even color scheme here, I have decided to go for more white and gray. The whole house is white and gray, but also the studio because because we have so many colorful actual pens and pencils that white and gray just, it does work, it looks good. And you know what? we can change things it's okay to change your mind also all these decisions they don't they don't have to be forever my lucas is this very hard decision maker he takes so much time which i'm like chuk, 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 done and dusted i can make one phone call done which my lucas is completely opposite to it but you know what i think the problem is as well that sometimes we think that some decisions are forever they are not you can always change your opinion change your mind later on and it's okay and sometimes my lucas says oh but you said this but i'm thinking but i have changed my mind what's wrong with that you know so i'm checking the pencils yes i have so many beautiful art supplies that i didn't try and this cleaning process also opened up a little bit of a new chapter like Marta you have so many amazing things you accumulated over the years time to use it uh, I'm sorry for the flashing lights all these times because the camera and the, 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 the actual phone the angle and the lamp it was just kind of the best option I could find but because I was moving it's flashing it's flashing because it's evening and it's just I hope that's okay I hope it's not that bad to look at so yes, I'm sorting and sorting and I really wish you to try it and sort your own things as well. Put things for sale, give it away maybe to school if it's too many that you have, maybe share with your pen pal, you know, just 
it's okay. Don't be afraid that, oh, I have so many. We all do have a lot. I think it's time for change. This year, it's a year of change and I really feel it. I mean it. And the changing of this room, it's taken since August. It's what? May now? So it's going to be nearly a year. And I think it's a very good way of doing it. It's bit by bit part of the room another part of the room and changing and making you know small progress here and there it makes me very happy it makes me calm and i really believe that plenty of people feel uh, feel anxiety and cannot craft because of the mess around or too many things accumulated yes i think it's time guys to just open up your eyes and just do something good for yourself and tidy up those rooms come on if I can do it and I'm really busy to actually tidy up the whole studio to be able to make those changes we closed the shop we have shop closed for eight weeks because there was no time there was no chance because the room is used to record to pack the orders to run a shop to pack the supplies for the shop um, so there was no never time to do the room but I said to Lucas I can't do it anymore it's mess. It's not functional. It makes me anxiety. It makes me pissed off. It makes me angry. It makes me unhappy. I'm really nervous about the whole room the way as it is right now. It's time for change. And um, someday, because the desk was first, and then my Lucas was like, oh, I'm not too sure you need those units. You know, the videos that you already seen the past two, three months ago. I'm not too sure you need those units. You know what? I sat down. I made a purchase in IKEA online because there was still pandemic. IKEA was closed. And I just said, I'm doing it. Whether you like it or not, it's my room. I'm doing it. Honestly, hand on heart, Lucas wasn't really convinced, wasn't happy. But I couldn't look at it anymore. It's me walking in that room. It's me not able to find anything. It's me nearly tripping over boxes and cardboards and this and that just because it's extra euro being spent or just because it's time that we don't have to spend on building it oh no 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 time for change guys that's what i've learned that's what i've done time to change time to make yourself happy if you're depressed maybe if your anxiety because of your room maybe it's a high time to just do something about it honestly trust me it was the best decision I could make to actually stand up and decide, okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of everything that I see around. Time for change. I'm probably halfway down. I think the worst is behind me right now between the studio desk and the actual units. I think the worst is behind me, but I still have the whole behind me. What you don't see, the whole behind me, it's too tight to be tidy up. But you know what? I'm looking forward to it because I know how it changes. I actually see new supplies that I forgot I have. I'm discovering things and I think it's so very much exciting and it makes me so happy seeing the result i'm chit chatting chit chatting but i hope that this video is going to be a huge encouragement to you i hope you will understand that you're not the only one that hoarded for many years you're not the only one with the biggest mess out there you're not the only one that have an inch on the desk empty to craft but i am here to tell you you can do it with me with others you can really really do it i try i believe in you i know you are able you're able to change these things to make yourself happy and i'm chatting to you honestly as i would chat to my friends to my sister to my best people that i would advise here is my advice make it clean tidy up bit by bit shelf by shelf as i said in the previous video and now I'm chatting so much that I <laughs> I nearly I nearly lost my voice. Even tidy up the stencils, simple things like that. As you can see, I'm putting things into those containers. Those containers are also from IKEA, those particular ones. So you can get things in you know in different sort of shops. My advice is try to make up your mind about color scheme try to make up your mind about the sizing what you really need maybe make some notes of what sizing do you need uh, what color would be the best i always go for white-ish things because i feel that it just works 
it's just the easiest it just works it just does the magic because everything else around me it's so colorful plus white is always good never out of fashion and you know what I was thinking recently that I've seen some rooms or, uh, of some studios and I was thinking, do you know what? Sometimes I would just buy a paint, white paint, and just go for painting your old furniture because not everyone can afford buying any sort of new furniture just to f suit the room. Why don't you get a brush, get a roller, get a white paint for the furniture and just paint it over whatever your existing t 20, 30 years old furniture just paint it white is also good because it is bright because it is actually making the whole place brighter more inviting fresher cleaner and it's easier to clean as well maybe well i don't know i'm not too sure about that but certainly white is something that i enjoy a lot and my advice if you cannot afford changing furniture which i understand of course i didn't change my furniture as such i added something but if you feeling like you wish for change and you're not too sure i would seriously paint i see so many art rooms in the cafe or in general out there and i was thinking oh i would treat that with splash of white honestly i would and you know these days there are so many amazing paints that you don't even have to scrub your old furniture you can just really directly go i'm sure in the shop they will even tell you the paint that you need and just go for a different color of Paint your old furniture, paint your old, old uh, shelving. It may help you to change the perspective, especially if the room is dark. I really think it really does make a difference, the, the, the bright, the color of furniture. Mm, shortly, we will be finishing uh, because I'm just at the, the last touches for my desk to clean it, to clean it. The the part that you have seen, the top part of the desk, the one that it's actually uh, on the uh, from the office chair, it's really good. It's this plasticish thing that you can actually. I no longer use the tripod, so you will see in the other video. This is my old uh, tripod that I use and record for eight years. I think eight or well, however I long. It's really bad form, but I no longer use it. It's the best thing I could change about my studio, which I will tell you, of course, as well. A lot have changed since this video happened, but I'm trying to catch up now, so you will be able to see everything, uh, how this started and all. And and here it is the final look a few months ago few months ago tidy i'm not saying it's so pretty pretty but i love it it's functional and yeah this is the previous this is before this is how everything have started this is the close look and here is uh, the picture that is going to come up now here's the from the folder it really looks different now the whole full video reveal of the studio will be obviously in the channel on the channel but look how messy how unbelievably different that is so yes it was a big change huge need i love it it's so functional again it looks different oh now it's the current more current probably like three months ago when i was tidying up my sides of the room so a uh, new lamps already you can have a peek on the new lamps and i was changing this part of the room that's why things from this part of the room were on the desk that's why it was so hard for me to record the actual desk video about this it's on the channel so please check it out i link you everything in the description box but yeah here is uh, how sometimes it looks it changed over the months it's it's looking even different right now um, but I will be updating you with the part two of this studio desk change I love the addition I know it looks horrible right now or what you see but trust me it's not like that it was only during the cleanup of the other sides of the room my beautiful friends I'm gonna finish it that wishing you a wonderful time of cleaning your studios hoping you felt inspired I love you, but I have to go. Till the next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>